Uh, my name is Lars Rot. I'm a co-founder of Bright. Oh, sorry, jumped a bit. Uh, Bright is a smart electricity platform. And we're here to talk today about why we need to change the electricity tax now. Uh, the reason is that we have a huge power problem. We are hoping, of course, that more sustainable energy and sustainable electricity is going to be generated by solar and wind, and it will, I think. We're going to have lots more of EVs roaming our streets. Most are going to try to charge when they come home from work. And even today, we have a lack of power in our network, prohibiting industries to be established. Uh, and if we actually, if we had a really, really cold winter day, we could risk having a power outage in Stockholm. That's how, uh, how difficult this is. And this is going to happen, the transition, I believe, is going to happen in a very fast pace. And today, the energy system or the electricity network is fully balanced, or it needs to be, between uh, planning or um, trying to understand the need of consumption and then planning production. Problem is that it's difficult to plan wind and solar generation because it's done by weather. And it's going to happen fast. If you look at the cost tech curve of cars, uh, this is from MIT, uh, it's actually on a curve similar to Moore's law. The price is falling rapidly and already in 2021 sometime, the EV is going to be cheaper than the in internal combustion engine cars and by 2030 they're going to be fully obsolete. And this is of course going to happen faster in the cities where typically a larger part of the newer cars are sold. Same thing with solar, it's also on a cost tech curve which since the 70s, the installed base have doubled every second year. Great news, right? Uh, by 2030, we're going to generate more electricity from solar than we currently consume in the world. So we're going to have hours where we have loads of, of electricity, and we're going to have hours where we're not. Problem is, the tax is in de-incentivizing us to use energy when it's available and when it's clean. If you take an example of an off-peak price of 20 hours on the Nord Pool spot exchange, where all electricity are bought, uh, that in the end of a consumer price, it could be 17%. 56% is tax, while off-peak is 45% due to the tax is fixed. It's always about 43 ERM. What we're suggesting is that the tax should follow the spot price, much like it does on gasoline, which would then would make a bigger incentive for people to consume off-peak instead, because then you would have a higher percentage of your price being at peak, and you can potentially save about a crown. Technology is there, uh, or most meters are there, everyone is buying from the, sp from the spot exchange. Of course, difficult for the consumer. What we've done and that we're offering and talking to a lot of energy companies about is smart charging, smart heating. You configure once when you want your car to be ready in the morning, and then it utilizes the right prices to charge it, which is also great for the environment. So we're really hoping that the uh, uh, Swedish government will quickly change the energy tax to be a power tax, because it's using power on peak is bad for environment, for societies, and for the network. Thank you.